Hello, E7. Today we are doing equations again, but this time there's going to be some brackets. So we need to do a quick little revision of the work that we did with brackets in algebra. So we learned to expand brackets. So like question 1a here, if I want to expand that bracket, I need to do 4 times x, which is 4x. Then I have a plus sign and I do 4 times 3 which is 12. Okay, it's going to practice that a few more times. To do the next one, we're going to do 6 times q, which is 6q. Then this time we have a minus sign, and we're going to do 6 times 4, which is 24. And one more for practice. 5 times 3a is 15a. Then plus 5 times 4 makes 20. Okay, so we're going to be using that in our equations in just a minute. We also may need to remember how to add and subtract things with our algebra. So remember that you can only add and subtract like terms, which means they have to have the same letters. So a 2x and a plus x, they are like terms. 2x plus another x, which would be a 1x there, makes 3x. The 5 is not a like term, so we have to put the plus 5 sitting on the end. It cannot be collected with the other ones. So let's try that again. In part B here, we have 3a plus 8a minus 2a. All of those ones that I've highlighted are like terms. Remember to use the symbols that are highlighted there as well. So 3 plus 8 makes 11 take away 2 would make 9a. Then plus 2 and plus 5, they are like terms. <coughs> so 2 plus 5 makes a positive, so a plus 7. Okay, so let's use that with these equations here. If I want to solve these equations, the most likely thing to do is to expand those brackets first. So we do 2 times x is 2x, then plus 2 times 1 is 2 equals 5. Then by doing that, we now have a two-step equation because we have two numbers here, that number and that number, with the x to move away. So thinking of our layers, we have got... 2 times by x, and then a plus 2 is added. So peeling away the layer by doing the opposite, the opposite of plus 2 is to minus 2. Cancel that outside layer. That means that we have got 2x left for our inside layer, and 5 take away 2 equals 3. Then, I need to get rid of the 2 that's in front of my x there. Now, they're currently multiplied, so the opposite would be to divide by 2. Cancel that away. x is now by itself. 3 divided by 2 doesn't go nicely, but we could write that as 1.5 or 1.5. Okay, that's it. We've solved it. Let's try that again. Question 2. First of all, because there's brackets, we're going to expand them. So 5 times x is 5x, plus 5 times 3 makes 15, and that is equal to 10. So the 5 is times by the x, and then the plus 15 is added on the end there, so we do the opposite. First of all, subtract 15. That leaves 5x. 10 take away 15 makes a negative 5. Next, 5x means 5 times x, so the opposite is to divide by 5. x is now by itself. Minus 5 divided by 5 makes negative 1. Okay, we're just going to do quite a few of these to get lots of practice in. So question 3. First of all, expand the brackets out. 3 times x is 3x, then minus sign. 3 times 2 is 6, 
and that's equal to 9. Then thinking of our layers, we've got 3 times x and then minus 6. Doing the opposite of that minus 6, I want to add 6. So that's 3x equals 9 plus 6 makes 15. And then 3x means times, so I want to divide by 3. Cross the 3's off. x equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. Question 4. 2 times x makes 2x minus 2 times 5 is 10. And that's equal to 10. So always expand those brackets there first. Then in our layers, we have 2x in the middle and then minus 10 on the outside. So peeling that outside layer, I need to do the opposite of minus 10, which is to plus 10. Keep it balanced, write it underneath both sides. Cross off your outside layer and that leaves 2x equals 10 plus 10 is 20. Now to get rid of the 2 in front of the x, they're timesed, so I want to divide by 2. x is by itself and 20 divided by 2 is 10. <coughs> Question 5. Expand the brackets. So 11 times y makes 11y, then a minus sign in the bracket, 11 times 3 is 33. And that equals the 22 on the other side. Then peeling away the layers, I'm going to have to get rid of that negative 33. So the opposite is to add 33. Cross off the outer layer. So that means that I have 11y left and 22 plus 33 makes 55. Then to get rid of the 11, they're times, so I need to divide by 11. Y is now by itself. 55 divided by 11 makes 5. Now question 6, I could do exactly the same way, but there is actually another option that I want to show you here. Sometimes you can actually divide the number out the front away because that 4 is multiplied by that whole bracket. Um, so the opposite would be to divide by 4. So I'm going to do that first just to show you an alternative method here. I'm going to divide that whole side through by 4 and that do on both sides to keep it balanced. That means that these 4s will cancel off and I'd be left with w minus 4 equals 20 divided by 4 is 5. Then I've still got this minus 1 here, so the opposite would be to add 1, cross that off, and w would be equal to 5 plus 1, which is 6. Now you could redo that question by expanding first, and you should get the exact same answer. So it's okay for you to use either method. Okay, so that's the end of the examples. You now need to do exercise 7, which is pages 17 to 19 of your workbooklet.